Well, hello everyone. I am Lindsay Helm, founder and CEO of Empower Employ, and we are empowering the military community through corporate education and technology solutions. And welcome to the long awaited Empower Hour. I have missed all of you so much. We've just been so busy with everything that's happening. Um, please come find me at Mick so I can fill you in in person one on one. That is next week in Vegas. Um, but Let's get to the meat and potatoes. I am really excited to introduce our newest sponsor of Empower Hour and guest um, from Intuit. Uh, let me give you a little bit about their background. I will be bringing uh, Tessa with us today, Tessa Eubanks from Intuit. Uh, Tessa has 10 years of customer, su ah, customer success. Let me not mess up Tessa's bio today. Sorry, y'all. Uh, customer success. And I believe has been with Intuit um, I think like 10 years. We'll have to like let her introduce herself. And then I have James, who is a veteran and also works, I believe, in talent acquisition at QuickBooks. And so let's go ahead and bring them up to the stage and welcome our guests from Intuit so they can introduce themselves and tell you about who they are and what they do. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. How are y'all? Good. 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 So sorry about the the stammering over your bio. I get really nervous on these things and totally butchered it. So let's take a minute um, and have you introduce yourselves to all of our viewers. Um, Tessa, if you'd like to go first, um, who you are and what you do uh, at Intuit. Sure. So hi, everyone. I'm Tessa. Um, I'm with QuickBooks Live um, as a recruiter talent acquisition, um, and I'm a Navy wife. Oh, military spouse. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Very important keynote. Awesome. Uh, James, what about you? Uh, yes, my name is James Purifoy. Um, uh, been with uh, TurboTax Live going on my second year as a recruiter. Uh, I've got over 30 years of management experience. Uh, and I'm, my, I'm a veteran. Uh, United States Army Field Artillery. Nice. Well, I fail like I always do. I'm also a veteran and a military spouse. Um, and we currently live in Hawaii. I'm an army veteran and I started in Signal. I was a 25. Well, we're not going to tell you how old I was. I was a 74 series. That's how old I am. But before I left service was a 25 series, uh, which for corporate America means I did tech. There, I am your human translator. It's my skill. So thank you all uh, for joining us. So would you mind sharing with us, you know, what made you want to be a part of the Intuit team? You want to go? You want to go first, Tess? I'll go first. Sure. Okay. Um, so I did forget to say I've only been with Intuit a little over a year, um, and I was looking for remote work. Um, and I had a friend of a friend who worked with the company, and um, you know, sent me where I should go to apply, and set me up with an interview, and helped me with all of that. So I was mostly looking for remote work. I also had read, um, you know, in my interviewing, I had read great things about Intuit as a company, um, how they were a great place to work. Um, so that was my main interest. Okay, and. My interest is similar to Tessa's. Um, I was I was looking for remote work, especially coming out of the or coming through the pandemic. Um, I was recommended by an individual who was familiar with Intuit, and uh, I applied and uh, and I knew Intuit was an excellent company to work for. So those were were the driving forces behind me coming to Intuit. Awesome. So when I went to Intuit, uh, I'm a former Intuit employee. Surprise if you're watching a contractor, if you didn't know. So I'll share with you all my experience with Intuit. Um, I was in a really kind of dark place when Intuit came into my life as a, a program manager on the team. And uh, Intuit really gave me my re-entry into the workplace after experiencing some personal trauma. And I had the best experience. I was given enough leeway, not micromanaged uh, to do everything I wanted to do and then some and even get involved in things that weren't really part of my job description. Just amazing leadership and um, really strong values. And I want to pause and talk about some of the values at Intuit that are that are discussed. Would you all mind sharing some of the things? You know, you have seven. Is it seven pillars? five pillars. It's been a while. I apologize. What are your pillars of, um, it's like integrity, prosperity. What are your arms? I, 
I you don't okay. put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I apologize. I know it wasn't something that we talked about. I just I thought it was really cool. So I'll just cover what I remember. Um, so here, shameless plug, please go to the Intuit website and do a little bit of research. But the things that stung out most to me is when I did my interview with Intuit, um, I wanted to be able to talk about the pillars and the the things that Intuit kind of based themselves on as a company. And my favorite was prosperity, where they give back to the community and also integrity. Uh, with open communication. So I thought it was really amazing that they gave me that leeway and really let me be myself. So moving right along, um, let's talk about the projects and things you're currently working on at Intuit. What's, I want to be like, let's pop in, but like what's happening at Intuit that um, you would like the military community to, um, to know about? I know we've got QuickBooks and TurboTax, right? Are those the two programs mm -hmm. happening right now? Could you all uh, take a minute and tell us about them? the requirements, the hours, the pay, the process. Fill us in. Give us all the details. Okay. I'll go ahead and start with TurboTax Live because we're we're into the the meat of our recruiting season for, um, for tax preparers. Um, we have three positions that we are recruiting for now at TurboTax Live. One's called Tax Prep Assistant. Uh, that's more of a customer service, virtual customer service role. The other two, which are tax preparers, uh, the positions are called tax associate and tax expert. Uh, the tax expert requires three years of paid tax prep experience. And when I say paid, you must have a P10, a preparer's tax identification number, uh, but three years preparing at least 30 returns per tax season. Um, and then the tax associate has the same requirements three years, but we do have opportunities where we could, we could lop off a couple of years of, of that requirement if you meet uh, certain requirements. And then the tax prep assistant position is more of uh, you're basically the virtual concierge. You meet the customer at the virtual door, you answer, you, you explain the TurboTax Live program to them, and you, um, you take the notes to move them over to the tax preparers virtually. So those are the three projects we're working on now. Um, we do have posi some positions that are year round. Uh, we have positions, uh, uh, the, the, the meat of our schedule is January through April, but there are exceptions where some people get extended uh, depending on the volume. So that's what we're working on now in TurboTax Live. Okay. I'll go with QuickBooks. Um, so we are currently interviewing for bookkeepers, live bookkeepers with QuickBooks Live. Um, we have currently, we have a start date. We have a few start dates in January. So we hire year round, um, but we have to wait on, you know, kind of the business unit to let us know when we'll have start dates. So they're not, we don't always have start dates. Typically we'll have a few in a cluster and then there'll be a little break and then we'll have another one usually. Um, but yeah, so we're interviewing for bookkeepers. Um, the requirements are three years of bookkeeping experience and some experience with QuickBooks Online because the live bookkeeping role is through online specifically. Um, if you do not have three years of bookkeeping experience, we do accept, um, there's a certification that we'll accept in place of the three years of experience. Um, and currently that is being offered through Coursera. So there's, you know, a course and a test, it's 80 hour course. Um, and you can go do that course, get that certification, and then you don't need any bookkeeping experience. You just, you need some familiarity with QuickBooks Online. Um, there is a certification for QuickBooks Online specifically that's required of all bookkeepers, regardless of your experience. So I guess if you had no experience, you would need to get two separate certifications. Um, but if you do have the three years of experience, you would just need the QuickBooks Online um, certification, which takes like less than 10 hours. It's, it's totally free. Um, yeah, so that's what we're looking like right now. Hey, Lindsay, could, could I add, add something? Yeah, uh, please do. The, um, for individuals who come to us without any experience or with some experience, paid experience, uh, they can go to the uh, uh, Intuit Academy, uh, which is academy.intuit.com. We have two courses out there um, that normally cost $149, but we're allowing people to take them for free now. And uh, uh, there's one called Tax Level 1. 
Uh, it's a 30 hour course with a two hour exam and the other is tax level two. Pass the tax level one, you'll get a badge and into a badge that's good for a year, but that will for the tax prep associate position and for the tax associate position that that can lop off two years or two seasons of experience then you only need one experience doesn't guarantee you the job but it, it allows you to move further into the uh, recruiting process got it so i did see um a question that i think is worth talking about for these positions and a concern really of all military spouses uh, and veterans across the united states and globally um, one of the questions that popped up that i think is relevant was can we do these jobs from overseas i.e korea now, um, I feel like it's fair to take a moment to educate the population on this topic because it falls into the realm of SOFA. Um, I don't know where Intuit stands on SOFA, and they will answer that question shortly. Um, but for everybody else watching, that is a possibility if your company supports that through their legal team and all of the the, pro the employment labor laws and things that go around it. But for Intuit, is Intuit currently supporting uh, military spouses that you know work in Korea that are U.S. citizens that happen to just be located there, um, you know, in that way? If you don't know, it's okay. We can find. No, unfortunately, for TurboTax Live, uh, you have to you have to reside in the United States, uh, the the fifty uh, the fifty states. So unfortunately, in order to do that job, you have to be in the U.S. Same goes for QuickBooks Live as well. Okay. And I did get asked in the chat, can I explain SOFA for those who don't know? So for those watching, if you've never heard, SOFA stands for the Status of Armed Forces Agreement. It covers everything. And this is not the perfect description, but my on the fly description covers everything from employment to how we live um, and how we interact and what we spend in taxes. It gets very granular on topics uh, for countries that we don't necessarily occupy, but we have military installations at. So to find out if you're current state, so like Korea, I'm under the impression I need to verify um, because I don't want to speak incorrectly. But the last I heard, if you live in Korea, you can work 39 hours remotely and just be treated like you live in your home of record. But I do not want to speak out of turn. Um, so you would want to get with your your local labor and employment office uh, there and work with them and the legal teams there to uh, get yourself approved to work for these companies. But for these positions, they are not available overseas currently right now. OK, um, I think that covers all the questions so far. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, you know, advice. So, you know, you both are military spouses and you're both veterans or one, you know, has, is a military spouse. James is a veteran. Um, what piece of advice would you give to the military, um, in their job search? You know, what, what's the best advice that you could give? I would say, um, I have two pieces of advice. One is, um, and I feel like I say this a lot, but make sure that your resume reflects your experience, um, any training courses you've taken, um, as well as, you know, physical experience that you've had. Also make sure your resume um, is, you know, geared towards the job you're looking for a little bit, kind of make sure it's catered towards that role. Um, and then another thing is uh, something that I've felt like between my friends and people I know through the military, lean in on the community. I feel like most of my friends who have struggled with finding a job um, or, you know, they're moving or they're looking for something remote, they found something within the, you know, mill spouse community through a Facebook group or, you know, organ organizations like this, um, networking with other people in the same type of, you know, place in their life, looking for careers, not knowing exactly where they'll be living from one month to the next, <laughs> um, leaning into that community and networking is really, really important, I think. Okay. And as far as TurboTax Live goes, uh, I would definitely make sure you take advantage of the, the Intuit Academy, uh, taking those, those courses, uh, because it's, it's, it's going to put, be a feather in your cap, whether you're stateside or statesides or not. It also tells us if you pass it, we know what, level of knowledge tax knowledge you've uh, you've mastered um as far as your resume goes i know a lot of a lot of you 
are trained to make sure you have the most recent information on your resume. But when it comes to TurboTax Live, we want to know all the tax experience that you have. Some people, we interview some people who have have experience from years ago and they're like, well, that's past five or 10 years and I'm not going to put it on my resume, but you'll want to make a special resume just for us. Put all that information on there because we want to know what you've done. Uh, and then if you're, if you're abroad, if you can get volunteer experience, I don't know if Vita is, is uh, where you're located. You you have to get experience somehow. We used to uh, accept Vita experience. We don't accept it now, but it still will help you um, in your interview process. That's fair. Um, for me, if you're watching, it would be kind of the similar set of advice. However, I think I would really work on personal like interviewing skills on top of your resume writing skills because you have to be able to sell yourself, right? If you miss something on paper and you're having a conversation with a recruiter, take a minute to uh, humanize the conversation. So if you don't have somebody like Tessa or James who speak your lingo um, and you worked in finance, you know, running in and saying, I worked at finance for, for the military doesn't really you know, always translate. So you want to spend some time not speaking in code and really practicing uh, what you did and the STAR interview format method. So situation, we love our acronyms, situation, tax, task, action, result. And when you're speaking, bullet point yourself in those um, functions. So for people watching, uh, Tessa and James, you know, people really that are interested in applying to your positions, what is the best way to get in contact with you and kind of what's the process for application? Um, could you walk us through that a little bit? For TurboTax Live, normally um, if you go out, if you if you go out and search online, whether it's Facebook, Google, Indeed, we're out there, on, we're on all the channels. So if you search for remote tax positions, you will find us. And uh, once you click on the link, you just you just put the information in there and then uh, you will be directed to a recruiter. Now, uh, I primarily work with uh, military related individuals, whether they're spouses or uh, or individuals that are coming out of the military. But uh, you can also go to our website, the, the uh, career uh, page at uh at intuit.com and are these um careers also listed on your uh, mavi page as well are they linked over i know intuit used to have a military affairs careers website is that another place you can find them i'd have yeah. to check i'm not uh, i'd have to check with okay. uh our individuals to find out about that no worries. Just curious. I think it's great that there is a page and it exists and I don't think it's talked about enough. I don't think people know that Intuit has a specific page for military um, and it is through Mavi and I can get that link for you. Um, we'll drop it in the comments when we post later. So in closing, um, is there anything else you want to share with our, our viewers today about the program and everything you're working on? I want to um, kind of speak on the applying for a QuickBooks Live. So it's a similar yeah. process as TurboTax. Um, you can find it on our careers page or through LinkedIn or any of the major places. Um, but when you're answering those first questions, so they have a few questions, just like name, years of experience, all of that. With QuickBooks Live, if you happen to not have um, tangible experience, but you have gotten your certification through Coursera, um, it, it's important to go ahead and put that you do have experience. I, I don't know if it asks you the exact number or if you do have experience, I would say three years. Um, so you don't automatically get kicked out. Um, that way you'll know you're going to get in touch with a recruiter. Um, also, um, sometimes it takes a couple weeks from application point to being assigned to a recruiter. I don't know if it's the same on TurboTax side, but with QuickBooks, sometimes there's a little bit of a lag. Um, so, you know, just be patient with that process. Um, once you've once you've been attached to a recruiter, they'll reach out. Um, they'll call you for kind of a phone screen where we talk a little bit more in detail about your experience. Um, and then kind of connecting back to what we were speaking to earlier, kind of building on what you said, Lindsay, our interview, the final step in the interview process, um, kind of the most important part of the interview is through higher view. So it is digital. Um, you record yourself on camera. So I think it's important while you're practicing your interview skills to also practice 
recording yourself on camera because it's a little bit awkward at first and you don't want to get in there and be thinking more about that than you are your answers. You know, it's a little bit kind of a new way to interview, I think, for some people. So practicing that's really important. Yeah, and I think it goes without saying, but if you're doing a virtual interview um, of any sort and you're recording yourself, let's talk about really quick before we close out. I think this is like implied, but let's just be very clear. Help yourself and help yourself by coming dressed like you're going to be an in-office interview. You know, wear a blazer, wear a nice shirt, wear a jacket. Um, make sure that you are groomed and ready to go. Um, and then make sure you're in a quiet place without interruptions. Now watch, I'll say this and my dogs will bark and they'll be like, Hi, girl. Um, but I'm ready to interview. Like it's a real thing, quiet, good lighting and all the tips and tricks that you need. Um, so that the interview goes well and you're pursued, you know, you're perceived as a professional and ready to work. So I don't see any other uh, comments in the chat that I am missing. Um, that being said, I want to thank both of you for joining us today. I know you'll be back, I want to say in like November, December, somewhere after that. Um, we have you, I think, monthly for six months uh, to talk about this program. It'll be different people from into it. So I want to thank both of you for joining. Um, for everybody else watching, please tune in again next week where we're going to be live at Military Influencer. I'm going to call it Empower Hour the random shuffle because we are just going to grab uh, whoever is available to talk about all the programs there. Um, hopefully we'll see some of you there. Tune in next week for Empower Hour and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you.